in previous class we saw that emcs 1.1 okay so uh, problem already we saw that 1 to 14 problems we completed now the last problem 15th problem we want to see if x is equal to root 2 minus 1 find then find then find subdivision a they are given x minus 1 by x what is the value for this and subdivision b x square minus 1 by x square then we have to find the value for this okay so for this answer here the given given value is x, uh, given x is equal to they are given root 2 minus 1 okay so here you see in subdivision a subdivision a x is equal to they are given root 2 minus 1 okay so we want to find 1 by x what is the value of 1 by x here you see this is 1 by root 2 minus 1 okay so we want to rationalize the denominator so multiply and divide by the conjugate of root 2 minus 1 is root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1 okay so here you see the numerator 1 into root 2 plus 1 means we will get root 2 plus 1. Okay. And denominator you see this is root 2 minus 1 into root 2 plus 1. Okay. This is root 2 plus 1. Uh, you have any doubts in the slide sir? Just we are taking the given problem x. We want to find 1 by x value. After that we are moving to find the subdivision A and subdivision B. Did you have any doubt means you please tell me. Okay. Otherwise we will continue. Okay. Students please understand. Don't repeat that um, previous session as a uh, one student. Put, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, please avoid it. Because this is very, very important in session. Please don't play. Okay. So. I will move to next slide. Here you see, in this slide here, a this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. You see here, a plus b into a minus b means what is the formula? a square minus b square. Okay, a square minus b square. This is the formula. So, you see here, 1 by x is equal to the last, uh, last value, root 2 plus 1 divided by, here you see this is root 2, minus 1 into root 2 plus 1. This is the form of a plus b into a minus b denominator. So we can write this as a square minus b square. So root 2 plus 1 divided by here a is equal to root 2 the whole square minus b is equal to minus 1 the whole square. So you see here root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 the whole square means what is the meaning? Root 2 the whole square means you can write root as whole power half okay 2 power half and then whole square is there so 2 2 is cancelled root 2 the whole square means you will get 2 so root 2 the whole square means 2 then minus 1 so my final answer is root 2 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 that is 1 by x is equal to i can write this as root 2 plus 1 okay in this slide if you have any doubt please ask me Otherwise, we will move to next slide. Okay. Okay. So, I will move to next slide. You see here, uh, in the given problem, they are given x is equal to root 2 minus 1. Now, we found 1 by x is equal to, this is 1 by x. 1 by x is equal to root 2 plus 1. So, I am writing here x is equal to uh, x is equal to value root 2 minus 1 and 1 by x is equal to value is value is root 2 plus 1 now i am going to the subdivision a subdivision b a they what they are given x minus 1 by x we want to find the value for this x is equal to what is the value root 2 minus 1 okay then minus of 1 by x is equal to what is the value root 2 plus 1 already we found here you see here x is equal to root 2 minus 1 and 1 by x is equal to root 2 plus 1. So after that you see here root 2 minus 1. I am taking this minus inside means minus root 2 
minus root 2 and plus into minus is equal to minus 1. Here you see this is plus root 2 plus root 2 minus root 2 is cancelled. So balance you are having this is minus 2. Okay. Then this is x minus 1 by x value is x minus 1 by x value is minus 2. Now we want to find subdivision B. Subdivision B they are given x square minus 1 by x square. Okay. So x square minus 1 by x square means we can write this as uh, suppose you know that the formula a plus b into a plus b into a minus b means I can write this as a square minus b square. Okay. a square minus b square. So in the same format we can write this as uh, that is uh, 1 by x a plus b into a minus b means we can write this as x plus 1 by x into x minus 1 by x. Uh, this is the formula. Formula. Here it is in the form of a square minus b square. So we are writing this as a plus b into a minus b. Okay. a plus b into a minus b. Okay. In the slide, if you have any doubt, please ask me. I will explain. So, I will move to next. Okay, sir. After completing this problem, I will show from the plus. First, one, two, three. Okay, don't worry. In the next slide, you see here, in the previous, here x square minus 1 by x square means, I can write this as x plus 1 by x into x minus 1 by x. Okay. x minus 1 by x. Okay. Here, already we know that x is equal to what is the value? Root 2 minus 1. x is equal to root 2 minus 1 plus 1 by x is equal to root 2 plus 1. Root 2 plus 1. For this bracket, for this bracket, x is equal to root 2 minus 1. 1 by x is equal to root 2 plus 1. Okay, now I am going to this bracket. X is equal to root 2 minus 1. Then here minus means I put here minus 1 by X is equal to root 2 plus 1. Root 2 plus 1. Okay, root 2 plus 1. Then you see here, this is uh, next line. Here you see root 2 minus 1 plus root 2 plus 1. In this bracket here you see root 2 minus 1. I am taking this minus inside means you see here this is minus root 2 minus 1. So after that uh, uh, here plus root 2 here minus 1 plus 1 is cancelled. Here plus root 2 minus root 2 is cancelled. So I am getting here um, root 2 plus root 2. Here I am getting here minus 1 minus 1. So I am getting here 2 root 2. Root 2 plus root 2 means 2 root 2. Here I am getting minus 2. So, if I am multiplying this, 2 into 2 is equal to 4, plus into minus is equal to minus, minus 4 root 2 is my answer. Okay. In this slide, if you have any doubt, please ask me. Okay. Okay. From, from the first time, now I will show it. You don't worry. This is our first slide. 15th problem. Problem is given. X, they are given only x value. Okay. So we want to find the subdivision A and subdivision B. First, given, given I am taking given and 1 by x. Okay. Rationalizing the denominator. After that, I will get here second. 1 by x. Rationalizing, we will get 1 by x is equal to root 2 plus 1. Okay. Then the third slide. I am, I am getting x is equal to root 2 minus 1. That is given. 1 by x root 2 plus 1. So after that, I am taking the first subdivision. Just I am replacing x is equal to what is the value and uh, 1 by x is equal to what is the value. Then I will get minus 2. Answer. Then second subdivision x square minus 1 by x square. So we can write this as this is in the form of a square minus b square means uh, we can write a plus b into a minus b. So we will get here x plus 1 by x or x minus 1 by x x means root 2 minus 1, 1 by x means root 2 plus 1. After uh, simplification, we will get minus 4 root 2. Okay. Any doubts?
okay sir okay i will move to next slide all of you completed sir shall i move to next slide okay i will wait all of you completed okay thank you thank you okay then the next slide you please see now we are moving to em cs 1.2 1.2 this is very very easy topic okay so first problem they are given using tests of divisibility divisibility find find which of the following which of the following number numbers are divisible by 3 but not 9 we have to find which they will give one number that is divisible by 3 or uh, but not divisible by 9 okay okay so if you want to enter this problem session means first we want to know first we want to know what is the rule for what is the rule for divisibility divisibility by 3 divisibility by 3 what is the rule for divisibility by 3 suppose you see sir here a number i will write the rule a number is divisible is divisible by 3 if the sum of the sum of digits is divisible is divisible by 3 for example i will write here x2415 okay this is the number they are given so for example okay for example adding these two uh, these numbers 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5 what you are getting 12 okay 12 12 is divisible by 3 this is the rule for divisible by 3 If you have any doubt in this slide, please ask me. Otherwise, I will move to next slide. Okay. Okay, sir. You don't worry. I will show all the slides last five minutes. Okay, last five minutes. You don't worry, sir. So I will move to next slide. So next, they are mentioning rule for uh, this is divisible by three, but not divisible by nine. Means we want to know the rule. for 9 okay so rule for 9 rule uh, for divisible by 9 okay divisible by 9 what is the rule for divisible by 9 sir sum of its digits anyone please give the answer for this divisible by 9 okay no issues okay if the sum of a natural number is divisible by 9 then the nth natural number is divisible by 9 or simply we can say sum of its digits sum of its digits is divisible by is divisible by 9 okay so now i will move to the problem okay problem number a they are given 1 4 2 3 6 7 this is the problem they are given okay so for this answer you see here first i want to add the sum of the digits okay sum of the digits means 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7 what is the sum of the digits 
23 sum of the digits is 23 so 23 it is not divisible by divisible by 3 okay so there are two parts first one we have to check whether it is divisible by 3 if it is okay means then we move to second not divisible by 9 not divisible by 9 okay here the first first condition is failure it is not divisible by 3 okay so we need not to move to second step okay sir right you have any doubt in this slide yes sir i will give the sum okay i will give the sum okay problem number b problem number b 672588 give the answer for this sir it is divisible by 3 or uh, not divisible by 9 okay please check and tell me you see sir here 6 plus 7 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 8 what is the value for this sir adding all this what is the value please tell me any one very good sir 36 36 whether it is divisible by 3 and divisible by 9 okay so it is divisible by 3 and 9 so it is not our answer the, we want to tell which one is divisible by 3 but not divisible by 9 okay this is the question they are asking so this is also wrong okay this is also wrong okay then here the next next value they are given 2 5 6 7 8 this is the problem they are given we want to check which one is divisible by 3 but not divisible by 9 we want to check okay sir here you see 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 4 what is the value for this what is the value for this 32 very good sir super 32 okay it is divisible by 3 or not sir it is divisible by 3 or not very good sir not divisible it is not divisible by not divisible by 3 so this is also not satisfying i will move to next slide problem number d 81756 this is the problem they are given okay so here sum sum means 8 plus 1 plus 7 plus 5 plus 6 what is the value for this sir what is the value for this 27 very good sir 27 so it is divisible by it is divisible by divisible by 3 both 3 and 9 both 3 and 9 okay so this is also not satisfying our question so problem number e 9 4 5 7 6 9 4 5 0 6 0 6 this is 0 6 So if we are adding nine plus four plus five plus zero plus six, what is the answer? So twenty-four. Very good, sir. Twenty-four. So twenty-four means it is divisible by. It is divisible by. By three, but not divisible by nine. So this is our correct. Okay, correct question. so in the next slide you see here problem number f is given 832451 832451 okay here you see this is uh, answer for this is 8 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 1 what is the answer for this uh, what is the sum value sum value is 23 very good sir some value is 23 so it is it is not divisible by not divisible by 3 okay so in the first condition 
first condition only only e is satisfying problem number e is satisfying divisible by 3 divisible by 3 and but not divisible by 9 are you able to understand this problem sir any doubt is there okay i will move to next slide sir. next slide okay so the second problem they are given which which of the following which of the following numbers numbers are divisible divisible by 4 but but not 8 is this the question they are given sir okay first we want to know rule rule for 4 okay rule for 4 so last two digit i will give simple explanation last two digits last two digits are divisible by divisible by 4 okay the same thing rule for 8 rule for 8 means last three digits last three digits uh three digits are divisible by by 8 okay so problem problem they are given problem number a 14584 this is the problem they are given sir now you see i am taking 14584 here i am going to check okay for checking for four means last two digits last two digit means 84 divided by 4 84 divided by 4 means i will get two times here one time okay it is divisible by Uh, 4 okay here last means 584 584 8 means what is the answer it is 73 so it is it is divisible by both both 4 and 8 any doubts in this slide sir same model we want to find divisible by 4 divisible by 4 but not 8 so here both are divisible in okay so it is not a answer shall i move to next slide okay no sir okay okay i will wait for 2 minutes you don't worry sir. now i will move to next slide okay are you ready sir okay thank you thank you so i will move to next slide sir so problem number b problem number b they are given 53876 okay this is the problem they are given we want to check okay 53876 means i want to check here you see this is uh, first last two digit means 76 divided by 4 Seventy-six divided by four means we will get nineteen. Okay. Next, next to here, eight seventy-six divided by eight. It is not divisible by not divisible by eight. Surely it is not divisible by eight. So my question is, they are asking. My question is, they are asking, divisible by four but not divisible by eight. Okay. Here you see it is. divisible by 4 but not divisible by not divisible by 8 so this is correct okay so next slide i will move to next slide okay problem number c problem number c 36912 36912 so i am taking 36912 here i am checking here here 1 2 divided by 4 means Three times here nine one two divided by eight means so this is one one four okay so both are divisible it is both divisible by 
it is divisible by this divisible by 4 and 8 so this is not an answer okay problem number d 9572 this is the problem they are given so i am taking 9572 so i am checking here this is 72 72 divided by 4 means what is the answer uh, so 18 572 divided by 8 this is not divisible by okay so uh, it is divisible divisible by 4 but uh, this is divisible by 4 but not not divisible by 8 okay so this is also answer so previously you see sir uh, so we is satisfying and previously you see here also which one is satisfying this is satisfying problem number b okay now just wait any doubts in this slide shall i move to problem number e and f okay thank you thank you so i will move to next slide problem number e okay problem number e here 24560. This is the problem they are given. So I am writing here 24560. So here this is 60. 60 divided by 4 means what is the value? 15. So 560 divided by 8. So 70. Both are divisible by uh, 4 and 8. So this is not my answer. Okay. Then f is equal to what is the problem they are given? 19594. This is the problem they are given. Okay, here it is 19594. So I want to check here. This is 94 divided by 4. This is not equal to uh, not divisible by. So first step it is not divisible by means we don't want to do the second. Okay, so this is not an answer. Okay, shall I move to next slide sir? Problem is over. Then now, problem number three. Problem number three. Which of which of the following which of the following numbers which of the following numbers are divisible by divisible by eleven eleven? Okay. So. So here you see, uh, suppose uh, the hint I will give here, hint, hint I will give you, okay, subtracting, subtracting last digit, subtracting last digit from the remaining, from the remaining, from the remaining number results in a multiple of multiple of 11 in a series multiple of 11 okay so or otherwise you have another one rule suppose for example i will tell you Example, suppose you are having 61809, okay. So you see, we can split into this or this, okay, odd and even. You see here, this is first place, first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. This is the problem they are given. Here, which one is odd? 1, 3, 5 is odd, okay. So 1 related to 6. 3 related to 8, then 5 related to 9, okay, here even, even means 2 and 4, even means 2 and 4, okay, 2 related to 1 and 4 related to 0, so you are getting here 1 plus 0, so odd number, what is the total, odd number we are having 23, 
even number what is the total 1 subtracting this subtracting this 23 minus 1 what you are getting 22 22 is divisible by 11 are you able to understand this concept sir this is very easy to find this is very easy to find shall i move to next slide okay now you see here the problem i am taking suppose i am taking problem 95827 okay this is the problem i am taking here 95827 okay so problem number 1 is they are given uh, problem number a this is 3 uh, 4 6 3 4 6 9 2 9 this is the problem number a this is problem number b simultaneously i will do here you see which one is odd places i will underline the odd places in blue color 1 3 5 this is the odd places and the balance is even places i will tick the even places okay so now i am going to do here uh, you see this is odd this is even okay i am going to add the odd, odd places 3 plus 6 plus 2 so i am getting here 11 so even places 4 plus 9 plus 9 so i am getting here 22 okay here the difference is 22 minus 11 is equal to 11 by 11 is equal to 1 so it is divisible by it is divisible by 11 okay here you see now i am taking this here which one is odd odd i will tick in blue color 9 8 7 7 all are odd numbers that is 9 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 so the total is 24 even number means 5 plus 2 is equal to i am getting 7 so difference is 24 minus 7 24 minus 7 means this is 17 so it is not divisible by 11 are you able to understand this slide sir if you have any doubt please ask me i will explain again sir how come 6 and 2 will be okay sir uh, you are asking 6 plus 2 here you see sir this is odd odd places means This is three is in the odd place one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. Odd numbers means one, three, five, six. See here, one related to three, and three related to six, and five related to two. So I am adding the odd odd digit values. Okay. So we are getting eleven, and even means if you here see four, nine, nine. Okay. So we are getting twenty-two. so the bigger value minus uh, smaller value we are getting 11 it is divisible by 11 any doubts yes sir okay then now you see uh, i will take the problem number c problem number c 11011 okay now you see here which is the odd place here you see this is uh, one and this is three and this is five okay then even places i will mark here even number 1 2 3 4 3, and this is our even you see here i am taking the odd here odd and this is even so 1 plus 0 plus 1 odd is over even 1 plus 1 plus 1 So total here one plus one is equal to two. Here this is three. So difference is three minus two is equal to one. It is not divisible. Not divisible by not divisible by eleven. Okay. Then problem number D I will take here two four five seven nine five. Okay. Two four five seven nine five. 
So here you see this is uh, odd number. I will tick in blue color here. Two, five, nine, and even I will mark the line here. Seven, five. So here this is odd, and this is even. So this is I am adding odd means two plus five plus nine. Here what is the value? Sixteen, and even means four plus seven plus five. Okay. Then you are getting here sixteen. So sixteen minus sixteen. Okay, this is sixteen minus sixteen. You are getting zero. So the important thing is difference between sum of the digits at odd place and sum of the digits at even place is either either zero or a multiple. Multiple of eleven means it is satisfying. Okay, whether it is multiple by eleven or zero. Okay, this is satisfying. Okay, so in this problem, you see here which one is divisible by eleven, sir? Problem number D is divisible by eleven. Problem number C is not divisible by eleven, and problem number B. It is divisible by problem number B is divisible by eleven. Okay, problem number uh, problem number B is not divisible. Problem number A is divisible. Okay, please understand. A is divisible by eleven. B is not divisible. C is not divisible, and D is divisible. It is divisible because either it is zero. If it is zero coming means then this number is divisible by eleven. Okay, this is very important. Okay, this is very important. Okay, they are completed. Please tell me. I will move to next slide. Okay. So the next slide you see here. This is problem number four is given. Problem number four, which which of the which of the following numbers which of the following numbers are divisible by six but not twelve six but not twelve okay. Okay, so any idea about this rule number six? Anybody having any idea? No. Okay, I will give the idea here. You hint that is rule for six. Rule for six. Okay, if it is divisible by Two and three, it is divisible by two and three. Rule for twelve. Rule for twelve. If it is divisible by three and four, it is divisible by three and four. This is the rule. Okay, this is the rule. So shall I move to first problem, sir? Problem number A, three eight double two. This is the problem they are given. Okay, unit digit. Unit. See the unit digit. Unit digit is two. So clearly it is divisible by two. That is, that is two divided by two means we will get one. It is divisible by two. Then sum. Sum is equal to what is the value? Sum that is three uh, plus eight plus two plus two. Why we are finding the sum? So you are getting fifteen. It is divisible by three or not? We we want to find it is divisible by three. So you see two and three. So it is okay. But but here you see this is but. 
not divisible by not divisible by 12 not divisible by 12 why sir i am saying not divisible by 12 anyone please give the reply anyone please give the answer why i am saying not divisible by 3 very good sir so in uh, so here this is 2 is satisfying 3 is satisfying so 6 is satisfying okay for 12 you see we want to find 3 and 4 okay here 3 is satisfy means 3 is satisfying here but in 4 table the rule for 4 is what is the meaning last two digits we want to take last two digits we want to take and divide uh, we are trying to divide so whether it is possible sir to divide four no so that's why we are saying that it is divisible by six but not divisible by 12 are you able to understand this sir it is divisible by six because two and three are satisfying divided by two is satisfying divided by three is satisfying but here 12 is not satisfying okay are you able to understand this sir it is divisible by 6 and not divisible by 12 so first one is satisfying any doubts please ask me okay so i will i will explain here you see sir uh, suppose i am taking problem number b now those who are, those who can't understand this please see this slide okay suppose i am taking Uh, six, four, six, four, one, two, eight. This is the problem they are given. Suppose, okay. So, first I want to check to find divisible by six means I want to check two and three. Okay, divisible by twelve means I want to check three and four. This is the concept. Okay, yeah, for two the rule for two is. we want to check the unit digit okay unit digit is here unit digit is 8 surely it is divisible by 2 so i am getting the answer so 1 is satisfying that is 2 is satisfying then to find the c that is 3 3 means sum is equal to what is the value 6 plus 4 plus 1 plus 2 plus 8 what is the total total i am getting here uh, this is uh, what is the total A anyone please give the total for this 21 i think okay sir 21 so 21 means it is divisible by 3 or not sir so it is divisible so here 2 and 3 are satisfying okay if 3 is satisfying here means so i can write it is divisible by divisible by 6 because 2 and 3 are satisfying okay so now i want to check 3 and 12 12 means 3 and 4 3 is already satisfying we want to find 4 4 means what is the meaning i want to check the last two digits okay so last two digit means what is the value uh, 28 divided by 4 okay so what is the answer 7 so it is divisible by divisible by 12 because 3 and 4 are satisfying any doubt okay very good sir okay i will move to next slide so but but the question is they are asking divisible by 6 but not divisible by 12 here both are divisible by uh, 6 and 12 so it is not a answer so i will move to problem number c problem number c is they are given 16524 is the problem they are given here you see unit unit is equal to this is 4 divided by 2 divided by 2 then sum means 1 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 
so what i am getting here 18 18 divided by 3 so 6 so it is divisible by it is divisible by 6 okay because 2 and 3 are satisfying okay and 2 and 3 are satisfying okay then you see sir uh, it is uh, uh, anyone please tell me whether uh, it is divisible by 12 or not that is 524 divided by 4 what is the value very good sir 1 131 okay 131 so 131 so it is divisible by divisible by 12 because 3 and 4 are satisfying okay 3 and 4 are satisfying so this is also not an answer the last uh, last problem this is problem number d here you see this is 943070 uh, okay so whether it is divisible by 6 uh, whether it is divisible by 6 and 12 sir uh, one student asking uh, how 524 is coming Uh, the rule for rule for four rule for four means we want to take the uh, next sir oh, rule for four means twenty four will come twenty four divided by six uh, four means six so it is okay very good sir very good very good. Okay. so tell me about this answer sir problem number d whether it is divisible by 6 or not very good sir so unit digit unit digit this is zero divisible by 2 and sum sum means here 9 plus 4 plus 3 plus 0 plus 7 plus 0 so we are getting here 23 divided by 3 this is not equal to the, not divisible so it is not divisible by not divisible by 6 okay not divisible by 6 so uh, the only option is a and b the only option is a and b any doubts sir okay i will move to next slide so in this previous slide you see sir this is not 524 for only for, for 4 means we have to take 24 last two digit divided by 4 that is correct okay this is for uh, uh, divisible divisible by 8 that's why we are taking 524 by 8 okay for 4 means 24 divided by 4 only okay uh, if you want i will i will show all the slides Vijay Rupan, any doubts? Okay, I will show all the slides from the first. Okay, this is our first slide. Then second slide. Third slide. fourth slide fifth slide sixth slide seventh slide eighth slide Ninth 
ninth slide. Ten. Eleventh slide. Twelfth slide. Thirteen. Fourteenth slide. Fifteenth slide. Sixteenth. Seventeenth slide. Eighteenth slide. Nineteenth slide. And then twentieth slide. Okay. Seventeenth slide again. Seventeenth slide. Okay. Now this is eighteenth, nineteenth slide, and then twentieth slide. Twentieth slide. Okay. So I will move to next slide. All of you completed, sir. I will move to next slide. So uh, five minutes is there. Five minutes is there. Only one problem I will do. Okay. Only one problem. Five minutes is there. Okay. So you see, this is very easy. Problem number five. Find the LCM. And HCF of the following of the following number by prime factorization. Prime factorization. This is very easy. This is very easy. Okay, just I am taking only one problem. Okay, in next class we will see here all the problems. Okay. Okay, sir. You see here, seventy-two, eighty-four. Seventy-two, eighty-four. Just I am taking prime factorization. You see here, if I am dividing with two means what you are getting? Three times, then six times. Again, two time two table. This is eighteen. Again, two table will get this is nine. Okay, and then three table. This is three into three. So next eighty-four. Eighty-four means I am taking two table. Forty-two again. Two table, twenty-one again. Three table, seven. Okay, sir. Are you able to understand this prime factorization? Any doubts? So, eleventh slide. One student is asking. I will show the eleventh slide. Please see. Okay, sir. Are you completed? Then okay, sir. Now you see, sir, in this slide, how we want to find the LCM and the HCF. Now you see, I am writing the seventy-two as uh, this is two into two into here two into two into two into three into three. Okay, so I can write this as two cube into three square. Seventy-two. Okay, sir. Then eighty-four. Eighty-four. I can write this as two into two into three into seven. Okay, so I can write this as two square into three into seven. Okay. I will show in the next slide. Next slide. Okay. You see here, seventy-two is equal to. I can write this as two cube into three square into. Uh, okay. Okay. Then eighty-four is equal to two square into three power one into seven power one. This is the concept we are having. Okay. In previous slide. Okay. So in next week we we will continue this problem because time is.
this is 45 okay because i want to give one tips for this hint for this after that we we want to solve this problem okay next week surely we will see this answer okay so uh, okay ranjit sir uh, sir hello ah uh, sir i am completed okay thank you thank you sir. okay thank you sir thank you